When I was in my hometown of Anderson recently, I wanted to talk with someone who was helping fund the Trump machine, and they recommended we reach out to local businessman C.T. Cromer. C.T. runs a successful vending machine company in Anderson called Cromer Food Services. He's been a prominent Republican donor in South Carolina for decades. Lately, he's given money to Trump's campaign and organized meetups for supporters at his compound. Oh, it's like a small town. He invited us over to talk about what issues he thinks Trump supporters in South Carolina care about the most. This appears to be a um, uh, artist rendition of the uh, planes flying into the Twin Towers. Hey, good morning. Oh, C.T. Cromer. Mr. Cromer, James Yeh, very nice to meet hey, you. James, good to see you. A lot of people call this a presidential room. My favorite president in my lifetime is Ronald Reagan. Because he took office when I took office, I started my business in 1980 and he took office in January 20th, 1981. And as we move around the room here, there's uh, George Bush, number two. He spent the night in my motorhome out there. You may have seen it out there uh, one night when he came to Furman University in Greenville. Before we could sit down, CT wanted to show me around his 40-acre facility where he lives and houses all the operations of his company. Uh, yes, I am cluttered with flags, you might say, around here. I have lots of flags. Um, I love flags. What's I love my country here. No one has ever answered this question when they come in this room. I asked them to look at the wheels over there, and now what do you think they call them? Look at it. This is like the riddle of the Sphinx. Yeah. It looks like it could be a bell or like a dustpan. It's called champagne wheels champagne. because of the champagne glass here oh see here yeah do you consider yourself a trump supporter well the reason is 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 because of wanting that business person in the white house the one thing i've learned that on our worst day in this country we're better than anywhere else in the world on their best day and i truly believe that why do you think all these people want to come to this country that's the reason. I mean, what do you think it is about Trump and Trump's message that re resonates with people in Anderson? He is saying what they like to hear. He is saying the things that bother the people the most. You know. What he, are some of those things? Do you think? Well, uh, immigration, uh -huh. uh, the border, mm -hmm. is, is, is uh, things, uh, and the politicians that, that we have now um, have promised all this thing. They go to Washington, they do nothing. They come back, get reelected, they go to Washington, they do nothing. Maybe we'll try somebody that's not a politician. Well, I don't agree with everything Donald Trump says, that's for sure. Yeah. Building a, a wall, I'm in favor of that. But I do not agree with deportation. That's not feasible. We all know that. And I don't think Donald Trump believes it can be done. The government would shut down. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it would shut down. There's so many here that, that you, you, I don't know what we'd do. The jobs that the illegal immigrants have are the jobs we cannot get people to work on. And in, in the, like here, mine is a housekeeper, grounds maintenance, vehicle wash. But honestly, if those five left, it would be very hard for me to replace them because of the stigma that we have on those kind of jobs. They think they're degrading type jobs. There's so many good illegal immigrants in our state here, they could come to work with me tomorrow if I could legally let them come to work. I can't let them come to work with me because they can't, can't pass the E-Verify. And I have five of the best employees working for me right now that probably um, would not pass E-Verify. Before we left, CT wanted to introduce me to one of his employees. Yes, sir. I um, uh, I told Donald Trump, I said, if you can send them all back, you can send my five back. Right? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. He's a good Very family. Nice to meet He's you. a good family. Right. right. Take care. He verified was not in when he was working here. And had it been, so he can't change jobs. He can't, make, he can't get another job. Can you imagine, can you imagine working under that, that kind of strain, you know, that, um, Hey, if Mr. Cromer was mean to me and he treated me unfairly, I can't go anywhere else because I can't get a job in South Carolina. I didn't quite know how to process meeting CT's undocumented worker. This guy was essentially at the mercy of CT, something even CT himself was aware of. He could have him sent back in a second if he ever wanted to. That is, if he could ever find any white South Carolinians who would want the job.